just real quick, and I'll try to uh, compress this. As far as we've talked about goofy stuff or funny stuff or stuff that's not believable, but this guy says, well, what about the use of the green mist by the great Muda and or Kabuki? Um, I, I always found it too difficult to suspend disbelief as it relates to this move from the rubbing of the gland in the throat <laughs> to secrete the toxin to the different colors producing varying effects on those struck by them. Simply put, it couldn't work in real life. However, it has been around for a relatively long time, however, and always seemed to get a decent pop from the crowd when it is busted out. What do you think of the the Asian or slash green mist? And that is a good question. I don't know that the that I I don't know the rubbing of the gland to secrete the toxin or whatever, which I think for, probably was a Gary Hart promo. I don't think I think the announcers were even rolling their eyes as if to say, "Folks, this fucking crooked heel manager is giving us a load of shit." But you know, but they're doing something wrong here. It was that type of thing. Uh, but uh, what do you think, Brian, Well, about the different colors causing uh, different effects? And uh, if you spray somebody in the eyes when they're not expecting it with Kool-Aid, you know, then you, you can't fucking see. So it, it, it was something going into people's eyes that could theoretically would pretty much have to affect their vision. But from there, how far can we go with it? Well, I think... It works because it works within the confines of kayfabe because when Muda does whatever this is, and it's a mystery, and that's one of the things about it. We don't no, know no, what it no is. No intended. It's a mystery. It's a mist. What is the mist? He sprayed the mist. What is it? No one says it. It's not like Jim Ross was saying, it's the food coloring. Like, we never yeah. knew what it was. <laughs> but nowadays, you know, I thought about it the other day because I was talking to my dad, and my dad does not like wrestling, but he remembers what he saw as a kid. And he would still talk about it, and I've heard his friends talk about it. I heard it on Seinfeld. I've seen it in different places. If you saw Killer Kowalski back then, you probably remember the stomach claw. Yeah. You probably remember it. It, it. it stuck with you, and you remember it. So to this day, I mean, you could see someone who's 60 years old who will talk about the claw. Maybe they'll give you the claw motion. If they're from Texas, it may have been a different influence than Kowalski. Do you think in 40 years someone's going to be you know, grabbing someone's dick and say, hey, remember this move? You know? <laughs> Oh God! But but no, but but back to the mist. I think, and, and actually, it, it was funny because Gary, and you know, he, we exaggerate his accent, but he had that, you know, that brother from Chicago, the accent like that. You know, he'd, he'd walk in with the bag of popcorn. He said, "Brother, would you like some corn? <laughs> some corn, brother." Um, but he, he would he would do that promo in the locker room. I think we maybe have told this story before, where he would say, "Oh, brother." When Muta blowed the green mist, oh, that's bad, brother. But when he blowed a red mist, that shit's on. <laughs> and that's just, and that made it kind of work. It's yeah. a different color. What could it? What could it be consisted of? So the other shit did the one thing. This could be. I don't know. He sometimes did I, both in the same like match. I remember he got yeah. Flair. Like got like maybe Sting got red and Flair got green. Like somehow in the same yeah. match he did it. But again, it works. And here's the thing, Jim. Let's look at the two main culprits, for lack of a better word, that people would think of. The Great Kabuki and the Great Muda. Did either one of them ever play silly? No, no. It was a serious thing. He was, it was a serious yeah. character. And because of that, whatever that mist was, and it was never explained, I thought of it as a serious thing. I never saw that and said, oh, that's silly. It was more that, you know, especially when I was younger, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how he's doing it, but I think it's cool. And obviously, it's played up in storylines so that there is an effect from the different colors of mist. I actually think it's kind of brilliant. Um, and, and I liked Muda's even better because if you go back and look at, at Kabuki, he, well, here's the thing. Muda was a more well-conditioned athlete. He looked like a badass. Kabuki was not a physical right. specimen. He had the weird gimmick going for him. Um, and how unique but, that gimmick was when it debuted. Yes, and, and it was completely different from anything that anybody had done. Well, not, not anybody in the world, but anybody in the United States on mainstream basis. You know what I'm saying? And Akendo Nagasaki in England. Yes, th thank you. Uh, but anyway, uh, but when Muda, and he was kind of ripped anyway, and he would grip his fucking throat and make that fucking face, that grimace, and then come forth with it. And he, 
Try fucking taking a fucking mouthful of any kind of liquid, much less one that you've got to keep in your fucking jaw for an extended period of time or get slipped something to and bite and shit and whatever the fuck and try to spray it like that. It like a fire hose. It looked like a pressure washer. And it looked like it would fuck with you most of the time unless it misfired for whatever reason. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's once again, it may be preposterous, but in the moment with those type of performances, you can believe it. It's not winking at the audience at the same time. It's not saying, Hey, watch this. I'm doing some shit here. You know, I, I don't compare the two. The feud, anyway, the feud never really got to get fleshed out, but I always loved Eddie Gilbert and Muda in the summer of 89 going back and forth because that's really a great example of the mist being used because he sprayed Missy Hyatt in the face, which was a big deal. Yeah. And then Eddie tried to burn him. And instead, I think he burned Tommy Angel through the fireball. So now you have the mist versus the fireball. And then Muda gets him with a different color. I, I thought that was really cool. And again, yeah. it, I think it helped get Muda over. And it was played serious. It wasn't played like some silly thing. No one smiled when doing it or receiving it. Uh, doing it or receiving it. Well, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> we won't go any further. From what I've Can, heard. Should, 